Welcome back, everybody. Lithium stealing a lot of the spotlight when it comes to EVs, although there are a bunch of other metals that are also integral to production. And like Fang and Brick, they have an acronym, so you know they've officially arrived. Pippa Stevens joins us now with that story. MIFT is, is the term, I guess. MIFT, yes. Enter the MIFT. Doesn't roll off the tongue quite as easily as Fang, but still. And it stands for the metals important for future technologies dubbed by Bank of America, which also said they're the heroes of net zero. Lithium gets all the attention these days, but the group includes a whole lot more. Think copper and aluminum to nickel, boron, cobalt, zinc, and graphite, among others. Now, estimates vary widely for just how much of each material we'll need, but the IEA forecasts that hitting net zero globally by 2050 will require six times more mineral inputs by 2040. Major miners like Glencore, Rio, and Vale are entering some of these new and smaller markets, but we've also seen up-and-coming companies who want to take advantage of this expected demand boom. And that includes here in the U.S. amid this big push behind reshoring. MP Materials has a rare earth site out in California, and then much smaller names and pre-production names to watch include 5E Advanced Materials for Boron and Talon for Nickel. On the lithium side, there's Albemarle, of course, Piedmont, and Lithium Americas, Kelly, among other names. And would you say copper is still the one? I mean, that one I feel like has hit the mainstream where mm -hmm. kind of people look at for the free ports of the world and they say it, copper is the key technology here. And I almost want to say they feel like the trade can't go wrong, which makes me a little nervous. You know, at the end of the day, the thing about commodities, they always seem to generate just as much supply as is necessary to keep the prices from ever really sustainably breaking out over the long run. I think lithium's the kind of sexy side of this, and copper is the what underlines everything. True. Because copper is electrification, and the energy transition is electrification. So, ergo, copper is, is what's key, and I think that it's just not seen as, you know, as snazzy as a cool market, but think about transmission. Think about EVs. EVs require two and a half times more copper than an ICE vehicle. Wow. So all of these new technologies require copper. And I think also it's going to be interesting to see if we do see some a slowdown in demand from like the old economy, to what extent will this new economy Absolutely. you know, meet, meet copper demand halfway? Right. So that will certainly be something to watch. And is it still Dr. Copper? You know, is it still a good <laughs> indicator? That's always what I'm obsessed with. Pippa, thank you very much. Pippa Stevens.